Well, so tonight there are questions now about what might be going on near the Seneca Niagara Casino in Niagara Falls. Today, new pictures show crews working outside doing some measuring for what they call our future protections. What we do know is that the Senecas have said they've stopped all casino payments to the state of New York, which would also be a big, huge blow to the city of Niagara Falls economically. Now, if the state and the Seneca Nation do not come to some kind of a financial agreement soon, then Niagara Falls would miss out on about $4 million in quarterly payments. And that means the city would lose $16 million a year in shared casino revenue. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui is in the Cataract City tonight. Keith, the mayor of Niagara Falls tells me that they were measuring the width of the parking lot entrances here so that residents don't feel helpless. And residents we spoke to are glad to see the city taking action. The Seneca Indian Nation should be sharing casino revenue with New York State. If you ask Niagara Falls residents like Tony Somerville. I don't think it's right. Because, I mean, they're here and the money's been, it's been going out to the state, so why is it stopping now? But in March, the Seneca Nation announced it would be stopping payments previously made to the state. According to the Senecas, its obligation to pay the state, outlined in the 2002 compact, had ended. Those revenues support a number of activities of the city government that are important to citizens, and I want our citizens to know that we're going to fight for their right to receive those revenues. Enter these photos taken Wednesday of DPW crews measuring the width of the parking lot entrances to the Seneca Niagara Casino. Without getting too specific, we also want to make sure here in the city of Niagara Falls that people understand we're not helpless in this matter and that we're going to keep all of our options open. Why would that be relevant uh, later on? I'm not going to comment on that. I think you can probably figure that out on your own. The implication in measuring the casino entrances is the city would block or barricade them if it doesn't get paid. But Niagara Falls Mayor Paul Deister hopes the state and the Senecas can reach an agreement before July 1st. Otherwise, Niagara Falls will lose out on approximately four million dollars this quarter. In fact, it stands to lose 16.2 million dollars a year if an agreement can't be reached. And in a statement, the Senecas tell Seven Eyewitness News that they are willing to meet with Governor Andrew Cuomo, but they're still waiting to hear back from the governor's office to schedule a date and time. We're live in Niagara Falls this evening. Allie Tui, Seven Eyewitness News. Thank you.